Hi, I'm Katie from Katie's English School. Today, we're going to learn five idioms to help you improve your conversations in English. All five idioms today are related to spring. First, we're going to review and check you understand the meaning. Second, we're going to listen to the idioms in context. And third, it's quiz time. Get your notebook, get your pen, and let's get started. So here are our five idioms for today. Let's match the definition with the idiom to check the meaning. Number one, which one describes someone who is good at gardening? It's green thumb. Have you got a bit of a green thumb? I don't have a bit of a green thumb. I almost never garden and usually the plants I have die quite quickly. I don't know the last time I watered this plant. Just been so busy, you know, looking after my students, not my, not my plants. Sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. Number two, this one's pretty easy. This one means to clean your house. <laughs> it's spring clean. We usually uh, spring clean around springtime, but you can sometimes say, I'm going to give the house a bit of a spring clean at other times of the year. Usually it's springtime though. Do you enjoy giving your house a bit of a spring clean? Who really enjoys cleaning? Number three, this idiom describes someone who has a lot of energy, a lot of happy energy, and an unusually large amount of energy. It's full of the joys of spring. Wow, she's full of the joys of spring this morning. We can use this when someone is happy, but we often use it when someone isn't happy and we want to maybe make fun of them a little. We use it in our sarcastic way. Wow, you're full of the joys of spring. Number four, to suddenly be busy or to suddenly be active. This is spring to life. In the morning, I spring to life after a cup of coffee <laughs> or maybe three cups of coffee. What about you? When do you spring to life? And last one, this is very near or about to happen. It's just around the corner. We use this to talk about near future plans. In spring, I guess it's a season where we start to think about what we're doing in the year. It's full of hope and planning. So what have you got just around the corner? Anything exciting? Now we're gonna move on to the listening. The listening has five conversations and there are two listening slides. You should read the questions in the first listening slide, then watch the video, then read the questions in the second listening slide and watch the video again. This will help you get the most out of this video. If you want to make it more difficult, cover the screen. And if you want to make it even more difficult, you can speed it up. If you want to make it a little easier, you can slow it down. Remember, you can watch the video as many times as you like. Let's get started. Hey, I saw you're out in the garden. I just thought I'd come and see how you're getting on. Oh, just doing a bit of gardening. Ah, I'd forgotten you had a bit of a green thumb. Um, well, that's the thing. Uh-huh. You know the vegetables I planted? Yes. I, I don't know how to say this, but um, yeah, they're, they're dead. Well, I take that back. Maybe you're not green thumbed after all. Hey, hey, hi, how are you? Oh, hey, long time no see. Oh, tough year, right? Oh, tell me about it. You got anything planned for the summer though? Now things are, you know, looking a little bit more hopeful. Well, you know, with all this lockdown, it's hard to plan or know what's around the corner, let alone, you know, what we're gonna plan for the summer. Yeah, 
It's true. I mean, we'll be lucky if we can, you know, like camp in the garden or something. Anyway, enjoy your walk. See you soon. Bye. See you soon. Hey, Mom, can you stop the hoovering? Sorry, what was that? I said stop the hoovering. Oh. It, why are you doing this at 8 in the morning on a Saturday? Remember, I told you we're giving the house a full spring clean. But I have plans. Well, you should cancel them. We're um, taking half of that stuff in your room to the garbage. And um, I think it's a good idea for you to help us. So, chop chop, get ready. Ugh. Happy birthday to you. No. Happy birthday to you. No. Happy birthday. Oh, wow. You're full of the joys of spring this morning. Oh, come on. I made you your favorite cake. I don't care if I'm older. I'm not interested in cake. Okay, I'll just leave this cake down here. Maybe you can have it later. I'm so tired today. Are you feeling it? I'm actually just thinking, you know, maybe, maybe I need a holiday. That's ridiculous. You don't need a holiday. You've just had a holiday. I wonder if it's the weather or something. I'm just like, just feel like I could go for a nap. You're complaining so much. I just brought you a mug of coffee. I'm hardly going to spring to life with one cup of coffee, but okay, here we go. Woohoo! All right, let's be productive. I hope you enjoyed that listening. Now it's time for a review. You can check your answers in the description below. That's you finished for today. Hopefully now you know five idioms that can be used around springtime. Remember to subscribe to my video channel, check out my Instagram, my Facebook for next week's five phrases to talk about jokes. See you soon. Bye.